Welcome to Get Administrator Started on Seesaw. This session is designed for school principals and other staff with Seesaw Administrator accounts who are new to Seesaw. This training is designed to get you up and running so you can actively engage with the learning happening in your school. While watching, please have another device or tab ready to follow along with the steps. Please also make a digital copy of the handout in the description of the video. Now close your eyes and time travel back to elementary school. Think about who your principal was. What did you know about him or her? Now come back to the present. Think about why you became a principal or administrator. What's your greatest strength as a school leader? Take a moment to think and write about what is your school leader superpower. Please pause the video. You may have written that your school leader superpower is building relationships, being present in classrooms, setting up high expectations, or using data to support all students. Research shows that schools achieve when principals promote collective ownership of school outcomes and provide consistent supports to staff, students, and families that need it. Our objective today is to learn how to use the admin tools on Seesaw to supercharge your engagement with your school. In doing so, you will foster a strong school climate and supportive relationships with staff, students, and families. Let's get started. Before we get started, let's make sure everyone is set up with an administrator account. You should have all received an email that looks like this. You can try searching for the subject line if you cannot find it. When you click join school, please follow the prompts to create a password. If you have already done this, you can skip this step. If you're unable to find the email, make sure that you check your spam folder. If you're still not able to find it, please email your district tech admin to resend the invitation. Now that our accounts are activated, let's explore the admin dashboard. Think of the admin dashboard as your virtual portal into your school, where you can add admin, teachers, students, and classes. You can control school-wide settings for use, review school analytics, and interact personally with the learning happening in your school. We are going to now access the admin dashboard using the login at app.seesaw.me. If you have a second device, please use that now, or you are welcome to open another tab on your computer. Please click I'm a Seesaw for Schools Administrator and log in now. Now that you're logged in to the admin dashboard, please follow along with me. You can just watch on my computer first, and then you will have an opportunity to explore. This is your admin dashboard. The admin dashboard is a portal into your school. Each tab gives you unique tools for managing and engaging with your school. Today, we'll dig into all tabs except the Skills tab. We'll cover that in a later professional development session. Now you are going to get an opportunity to explore the admin dashboard. Your task is to discover features of the admin dashboard. Find at least one feature for, per tab you find useful or exciting. Please record your notes on the features in the handout that is at the bottom of this video. You can also type in the bit.ly that I have entered in blue under number two. Please pause the video and give yourself between five to seven minutes on this admin dashboard scavenger hunt. Now that you've had a chance to explore the dashboard, think to yourself, what was the most exciting feature you discovered? There are four key tools you may have discovered during your scavenger hunt. The ability to view data in multiple ways, student activity reports, virtual classroom visits, and engaging with student posts. 
We are going to have an opportunity to explore all of these throughout this PD. The ability to view metrics in multiple ways is an important tool for all admins. Let's explore this a bit further. You are able to view weekly engagement metrics on the Overview tab. This is a quick snapshot of what's happening in your school. It shows you how many new items were added in your school, new comments, likes, and parent views. The Analytics tab will give you detailed insight into what's happening in your school. It's amazing to see these numbers grow throughout the course of the year. You're able to see all time engagement metrics at the top of the page. This includes the total number of items added, total comments, total likes, and total parent visits. I want you to take a moment to think to yourself about how you could use weekly and all time metrics to inform your school's priorities. For example, if I see family engagement metrics are low, I can focus efforts on increasing family engagement. Below the total metrics are four graphs that allow you to look at engagement metrics over a specific period of time. With these graphs, you're able to see the total, item, total items added, weekly items, feedback, and lastly, weekly parent engagement. I want to encourage you to play around with these graphs in the analytics section after the professional development for some really helpful insights. We are now going to move to the classes tab. In any tab, whenever you see these arrows under a metric, that means you can click the arrow to filter by that metric. Metrics in the class tab give you a summary of school engagement. You could also view by grade level. This might be helpful if a grade level is working towards a specific goal or initiative. In items this month, you can see how many items that teacher and class have posted. This might be helpful if you're working toward a specific engagement goal each month. Here, you can also view parent visits per month, total items that have been added historically, the number of enrolled students in that class, and lastly, the number of family members connected to each class. We will now jump over to the student tab. The metrics in the student tab help you see family engagement by student. In the student tab, you might want to filter by connected family members to see which students need to connect a family member to their account. Then you can provide support to get those families connected. The student tab is a great place to track student and family engagement. In this tab, you can also see how many items a student has posted in a month, as well as how many family visits the student has had in a month. The next feature is the student activity report. Let's go over the student activity reports now. This feature is located in the admin tool section, definitely not to be overlooked. You can follow along and pull your own student activity report right now. We will click back to the overview tab on the right side under admin tools. At the bottom, you will see get student activity report. Please click that. You will receive two reports, one by student and one by class. As it says here, the report by student is great for leaders who want high level insights into engagement, while the report by class is great to see activity by class, including which assignments have been completed. Both reports include a number of fields like student name, class name, number of posts, the seesaw activity they have and have not completed, and more. Once you click get student activity report, you will get a pop up. It might take a few minutes to generate the report, so you can wait to look at the report in your email after this PD is done, or pause this video to wait for the report. You might be thinking, how do I use the student activity report? There are many different ways. During remote learning, it's a great way to track attendance. You can pull this report each day to see who has and who has not logged into Seesaw. 
It's also a great way to see which students need more support to complete activities. Play around with the filters and look at data in different ways to work with your teaching staff to determine the best way to share data. Lastly, since only administrators can pull this high-level data, you can share it with classroom teachers so they can create an action plan for students that might need more support. You may know that family engagement is the best predictor of student success. You can support all families to engage in their child's learning by connecting them on Seesaw. Work with your tech team to bulk invite families from the admin dashboard. To invite families, you or another Seesaw admin, potentially your tech coordinator, can click Get Family Data and Invite Families. Once you click Get Family Data and Invite Links, you can get a CSV that shows all students, whether they have a family member connected, and their unique invite link. Send the join link to each family member using your preferred communication method. For example, you can use a mail merge app to quickly email the join link to every family member in just a few clicks. For more information on bulk invites, search bulk invite on help.seesaw.me. I'm sure many of you already know that you can actually virtually visit classrooms. This means you can see and engage with the learning happening in your building from anywhere. There are two ways to virtually visit a class. The first is in the Classes tab. You can click on any class in the column under Class Name. You can filter to put them in alphabetical order or search for a specific class by using the search tool in the top right-hand corner. You can also virtually visit a classroom through the Teachers tab. Click on a class name under any teacher's name. You can also search by teacher name or email in the top right corner. Once you click on the class, you are taken to the class view. Right now, we're in the Journal tab. This is what teachers and students see when they log into Seesaw. You can see the class name on the top right. The Journal tab shows a feed of all student work in the order it's posted. You can also click on any student's name to see a portfolio of work by that student. As an administrator, you're able to explore what's going on in any class. It's a great way to get a pulse on what's happening in the classroom and allows you to have more meaningful conversations with students, teachers, and parents. To get back, to the admin dashboard, click on your profile icon on the top left, then click on your school name right at the top. A really wonderful feature of Seesaw is that it allows admin to engage with student work. With Seesaw, you can show students that you're invested in their learning anytime, anywhere. There are many places you can engage with student work. The first is in the Overview tab. You'll see recent student posts from your whole school. You can use the arrows to scroll through the posts. You can also engage with student posts when you are virtually visiting a classroom. On any student post, you can like the post or comment on a post. You can leave a typed comment or an audio comment. Audio comments are great because they're quick and accessible to young and diverse learners. Like or a comment can go a long way. Students thrive when they receive positive encouragement from adults in their lives. Even a few interactions a day strengthens your relationships with students. We are now going to explore school-wide announcements, a new feature for the 2020 school year. School-wide announcements go beyond event reminders and other logistics. School-wide announcements, your superpowers become even stronger because it becomes even easier to communicate, share, and engage with your entire school community. You will see the new announcement tab on your admin dashboard. 
You are able to send announcements to any combination of teachers, students, and families by class in a school. If you want to send an announcement to all third grade students, you would check students, then edit classes to choose third grade classes. You will be able to explore this in a minute. Note that at this time, admin can only send messages to all students in a class, all families connected to a class, or all teachers on a class. While you can choose specific classes, you cannot choose specific people within a class. Able to add multimedia attachments to your message, like a video, PDF, photo, collages, and more. When you click Add Attachment, you get access to all Seesaw Creative Tools. No more one-dimensional handouts. Click the three dots to edit a message. You can only edit the content of the message, not the recipients. Only the original author of the announcement can make edits. You can also see who has viewed your message just beneath it. Teachers and students will receive school-wide announcements in the school announcement section of the inbox. Note that replies are disabled, so teachers and students cannot respond to the school-wide announcement. Families receive school-wide announcements as a message from the admin who sent it. Replies are disabled here as well. One of the greatest Seesaw tools is translation. When families use devices set to a language other than English, they're able to translate all type text in Seesaw. This includes the body of your announcement and captions. Seesaw automatically shows C translation when it's available. You will now have an opportunity to play around with school-wide announcements. Draft your first school-wide announcement. Here's an idea to help you create a culture-building message. Create a welcome post. You can either film a video or use a tool of your choice. Remember, you're just drafting the message right now. You can always revise it before you send it this fall. Please pause the video to draft your school-wide announcement. Take a moment to think to yourself about how your announcement helps build culture at your school. You can support culture by creating an environment where all students and families know that you're welcome. You can show your personality so students can know you on a more personal level or establish a culture where growth is acknowledged and celebrated. You did it! You learned the key Seesaw skills that will help you engage more deeply and consistently with your school. You learned the features of the admin dashboard, how to gain data-driven insights, ways to engage virtually with your school, and how to send school-wide announcements. Please pause the video and take a moment to list the top three tools that you plan on using and how you will use them. In your plan, include when you will use them and how you might hold yourself accountable for using them regularly. You can pause the video to do this now. Thank you for joining us in Get Administrator Started on Seesaw. Have fun as you continue to explore the admin dashboard.